dropping it. You know, the best bet is to put this Tyvek on the outside on the studs, but this is one of the areas where we're not taking the siding off. So this is kind of the next best thing. Um, I think it's gonna go a long way to help with the draftiness on this side of the house. Well, that is going to do it for all of the insulation on this wall and uh, i think it turned out pretty good and i think that's going to help us out <laughs> tremendously tonight we have been uh, we have been living in the house for a few days now in cold temperatures relatively cold temperatures with just a big sheet of tyvek up here it hadn't been too bad actually i've been pretty surprised at how good of a job the tyvek was doing just by itself but this is going to make things a whole lot more comfortable i still need insulation around the window here of course and I've got a can of foam insulation that I'm going to put in there but I'm going to wait to do that until I'm ready to put insulation around the door as well and I've been thinking about it a lot and I'm thinking that may be the next project I was thinking the next project was going ahead and putting wall uh, boards on this wall right over here but the more I think about it the more I think that I need to go ahead and get this door finished out so I know exactly how to cut the boards the wall boards for the walls so I think that's probably going to be probably going to be the next step there big shout out to my father-in-law for coming and helping out with this insulation insulation is not a fun job any way you look at it so that was a huge help to me this morning with him coming out and doing some of the insulation on this wall but um, I'm gonna sleep on whatever the next project is on this wall and uh, I'll look at it either tomorrow or the next day it's been a few days since that last clip when we were putting the insulation in and I want to get that door frame done so we can go ahead and start putting paneling up on those walls and uh, the trouble is I'm kind of out of lumber I need to make some more uh, to make some more two by fours it'll actually need to be about an inch and a half thick and I don't know if I'll need to mill it I may have some pieces that I can just kind of cut down with a table saw
It only took two tries. <laughs> That's really not bad at all. <laughs> That door took a lot longer than I expected it to take and I uh, still will have to do quite a bit of work down at the bottom once we get the subfloor and the uh, and the flooring in. We'll have to probably take the tor door down. It's got to be taken down anyway to be refinished, but we'll probably have to take it back down, cut it off at the bottom, and uh, uh, that's a project for another day. But right now I've moved this sawing operation to the shed out here because we're under a chance of rain and uh, we're going to start cutting up wall boards and putting uh, boards on the wall. I'm basically just trying to get these boards out of the way. I'm not going to edge and plane these right now. They're kind of narrow. Uh, I'm guessing that one's probably about 10 or something like that. Some of, them are, some of them are narrower. These right here are what I'm after. These right here are uh, maybe around 14, between 12 and 14 I would say. And I'm trying to kind of keep it matched on this wall. Before I started this project, this stack of lumber looked huge, but it's getting smaller and smaller really fast.
I took a risk here just putting all of these boards on the mill at once to edge them. What I really should have done was put a couple on it, edged, and then made sure the log deck was in good shape. Uh, but if the deck is not exactly level, these edges are not gonna meet right and I'm gonna have a gap. So what I wanna do now is just put a couple of boards side by side and uh, make sure it's make sure that, that um, that's gonna be real tight, that joint's gonna be tight. That's pretty good. I would be able to take that and kind of pull them together on the wall. There's a tiny gap, so I'm going to adjust the mill a little bit and then we'll flip it and do the other side. This is always the worst part. wanted to show you all this I've run into a fairly serious problem here I've got a pretty bad gap right here and I've also got a gap right over here and that's a pretty big gap it's probably a good quarter of an inch I think that I know how to fix it I think that if I shave about a quarter of an inch off of this right here the whole thing will cant up and that'll close up the gap on that side and that side so let's try that
It's hard to tell, but I think I'm going in the right direction here. I'll go cut off a little more. I was cautious on how much I cut off the first time, but I'm going to take, uh, take a little more off and see what happens. So here's the result of that. If you can see, this is the right side and the gap on this side, I've pretty much completely closed up. On the left side over here, it's a whole lot better, but it's still got a gap. It's a 16th over here. And if you go over here, it's 3 16 And if it was even, I could fix it without too much trouble, but it's not even, which is gonna give me fits. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and put this board on right here and uh then i'm going to see what kind uh, how well this joint matches with the bottom board and then i'm going to do some fiddling with that board right there i'm probably going to end up having to take this board all the way out and put a different one in here that's a little bit wider just so we could fix this gap there's going to be trim right here so that's going to be helpful in covering some of this up but we have got to make get make most of that gap go away that's not going to work All right, let's try this new one here. All right, so this is something that I can live with. On this side over here, that gap is closed up, and over here, we've got just kind of a minimal gap. Trim will be right here, so we'll only see the gap right over here, and it's really not, not bad. That's not gonna keep me up at night. What were you trying to do, buddy? I'm trying to... Oh, I can't do it. I think you need a gun for that. Okay. Can I have a gun? <laughs> I don't think you need the gun. Why do you, I, you don't need, I need a gun. I don't think you're quite ready for the gun. Well guys, that is gonna do it for this video. That seems like a pretty good stopping point. This window is good. Um, I wouldn't call it perfect, but it's good. I saw Sean James, uh, my self-reliance, post something on Facebook the other day and it basically said, perfect is the enemy of good. And that really makes a lot of sense. You can strive to make something perfect forever and it's never going to be exactly perfect especially in this case when you're working with a house that's made out of very rustic materials um, and not exactly square everywhere or plumb everywhere but uh, all things considered i really like the way that this turned out i think it looks really good it definitely looks a whole lot better than it looked a week ago when the whole wall was torn completely out and there was only a sheet of tyvek hanging here i'm very happy with the way that this turned out um, this lumber here if anybody's wondering this lumber i had a few videos on milling this lumber cutting down the trees and milling this lumber probably two years ago and i'll try to find 
some videos of that, some old clips of that to put into this video. But uh, long story short, a friend down the road had quite a few pine trees that he wanted to get logged. And I took my mill and tractor and chainsaw over and cut a few of them down. Uh, 20 something trees, I think it was, ended up getting cut down and uh, milled them up and took half of the lumber. And now it's paying off. This lumber has been stacked here for a couple of years and uh, now we're using it for this remodel so worked out pretty good um but that's going to do it for this video thank you all for watching and uh, i will see y'all on the next one i meant to mention this before i cut off the camera but uh, up there you see uh, there's quite a big gap up there probably a good six inches that i did not do and also down here at the bottom there's a good probably seven or eight inch gap that i didn't do down there i don't want to finish that down there until the floor is in or at least the subfloor probably probably at least the subfloor and I don't want to do that right now because this ceiling is coming down as well and if I went all the way up to the ceiling with this I'd have a difficult time getting that ceiling down so that's why I didn't do those two strips right there.